Welcome back, Delano. Let's start with Disney. Are you a buyer of the stock here? Hey, Kelly. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I am a buyer. I think, you know, one, there's a couple of interesting opportunities for investors here. Obviously, revenues in the last quarter was really strong. And then if you look at the subscribers across all their platforms, they're now rivaling Netflix um, as far as subscriber, you know, atten- retention. And, you know, we really focus it on, obviously, that, that type of the business, which is a lot of people focus on is Disney Plus. It's still not profitable. But I think if you look further at the valuation, that's where it gets attractive because now you're seeing that 3.2 times sales versus Netflix, which is about 2.3. Or excuse me, you're looking at 2.3 times sales for Disney and Netflix 3.2 times. Um, so I think that's a very, very attractive valuation for, for people that are looking for stocks that have more of a growth story, Kelly. All right, let's move on uh, to Moderna, which has uh, gotten uh, approval for another vaccine. Um, I guess my question about Moderna, Moderna is, do they have a second act? Yeah, that's the big question, because the first act, obviously, you know, helping our country and, and people across the world go through going through something that was horrible, uh, it did grow the business. If you look at the COVID vaccine revenue, grew over 2,000 percent from Q4 of 2020. So um, now it's looking at the other second act, and they have other, you know, vaccines and prescriptions in the pipeline that can help. But I think we all know that there's going to be a slowdown because we're having mandates roll off and, and, and different areas where we've gotten a lot stronger uh, from this horrible virus. So um, that second act is to be seen. They have, you know, guidance that indicates that they still have large purchasing agreements. But, you know, I think I'm kind of neutral right now. I'm waiting a little bit on Moderna. All right. That brings us to our final name then, ExxonMobil, Delano. This one more kind of reacting to oil prices. We also talked about it earlier this hour as it relates to the ESG fight and some of the backlash that's playing out. Yes. You know, there's a lot of a lot going on with the stock. As you mentioned, look, looking at the prices of oil um, going the other direction. You know, if you look at just take six, seven, eight months back when, you know, there was a powerful up climb, upward climb uh, of prices, and that was due to tight supply demand and geopolitical tension. And that led them to having the quarters that they had in the first half of the year. So they had consensus, they blew past consensus on top and bottom line, and they had free cash flow that was really strong in the first half of the year, which they used to buy back stock. Now, going forward, uh, I do think we're going to see a little bit more headwinds with margins compressing um, and with the prices, you know, going the other direction. So, you know, we're still holding uh, onto our shares, but it's going to be a little bit more uh, tumultuous going forward. All right. Delano, I'm told that you're winning our stock draft right now. Is that true? Remind oh. us, what were your picks? <laughs> I, had, I had DraftKings, Kelly, and I also believe I had I'm not Amazon. Amazon. I have to go, yeah, I believe I had Amazon. Wow. I, I didn't even know that. You just made my day. Tell me that. Uh, winning the, I mean, it's early. It's early. Don't, don't it's count your early. chickens, <laughs> as the saying you goes. Be, you're, you're a true child. I have to, I have to stay, stay in it. I have to stay in it. Stay humble. <laughs> Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.